My body went numb like a minute ago. I can't feel a thing from my head to toe. I lost my mind, man, I'm out of control. I can't stop no thinking. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott. We're here today with George and Elvis. And I'm going to tell you, this is going to be a special podcast. This is super cool. So you guys know, so one of my mentors, and obviously I'm going to have Elvis talk to us a little bit about his success he's had. He's making a lot of money. He's killing it. He's crushing it. And I want you to I want you to see what's possible whenever you really like dive all in and get ready to build um, your empire. But my man George here has been coaching him, right? This is super cool. You guys know Patrick Bet David is one of my big mentors. He's a guy that I've looked up to for a long time. He's just a killer in the game. And he's a person who literally, if you sit in front of him, like you just want to keep listening to him for hours. Yeah. You're just like, come on, don't stop. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. And if you do what he says, uh, you'll kill it. But you started with Patrick when you were 18 years old. So I want you to understand this, guys. This guy's name is George. He's a badass. He's 37 years old. He's got a beautiful wife. He's got a kid, and he's got another kid on the way. Um, he was one of the first agents in on PHP. He started with Patrick when he was 18 years old. Yep. So you guys know, Patrick Bed David has an insurance company. Yep. Okay? And that insurance company, Patrick and you left to go to PHP, right? Yeah, Pat started PHP, and pa I, I left with him. Yeah, so he started it, and you went with him, and there were maybe 60 people that rolled. Yep. There's a handful that are still around, and you've been with them since you're 18 and you're 37. Yeah, man. Dude, man. I mean, number one, I bet you never thought that he was going to go where he was going to go, or maybe you did. You probably left because you did. Obviously, you did it yourself, and now you have anywhere between 1,700 to 2,000 agents that you're leading also along the way, right? Yep. So you built a huge agency. You started out selling insurance, which that's where it always starts, but you ended with an agency, right? Yeah. And then now you're crushing it. You're helping people. Obviously, you got a big event coming up that I want to talk about in a little bit. But first, um, let's talk a little bit about, before you tell us about where you started with Patrick and all that stuff, I want to, I want to skip to Elvis real quick. Elvis, you've been with him for five years, yeah. right? Okay, now you're a big dude. How tall are you? 6'6". Six, 6'6". Six. Six, six. Six, six, former athlete. Athlete. Okay, killer. Next time I do a podcast, you're going to have a six-pack. You promised me that. I promise you. A okay, thousand all right, percent, all right. bro. Don't be, don't be Got to get back in the gym. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's a commitment. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, right. yeah. You're right. Um, but, but long story short, um, he said that, you know, you're, you're killing it. You're crushing it. You're doing a good job. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, you're going to start making some really big money. And I don't have to tell everybody what a, a lot of money is, but it, you're going to be making a lot of money. Um, tell us, what's, what flipped the switch? Why year five? Year five, you've been with him. What's changing now? Was it a different way he coached? Is it something different in the company? Or just, did you finally I, wake up? You know, I think a lot of people got to remember, you know, things don't just happen overnight. And I think a lot of people are sold out to the concept of immediate gratification versus delayed gratification. So mm -hmm. everybody, like you just said, you just challenged me to a six pack. That six pack is not happening tomorrow. You know what I mean? That's probably going to take, you know, months, dedication, commitment. And, you know, sometimes in life, you just you, you want to know that somebody else has been where you want to be. And that's the power of a mentor in your life. You know, somebody who's been where you are and they're like, man, if I follow this person's footsteps, I'll have the same life that they have. Um, and that's who he was for me. You know, five years ago, I left engineering. Um, I used to be a mechanical engineer after playing uh, overseas basketball, um, which is good, man. You make a good amount of income. But then down the line, you start to realize the concept of just making a six figure income was what we were sold on, not really what's going to help you sustain. And right. You know, I, I, I went through the engineering route. It was good. Um, and George found me, man, when I was 23. And um, my sister brought me into the industry, introduced me to George. Um, and it was just the perfect timing. I wanted more out of life. I was uncomfortable where I was, and I was dissatisfied. You know, people ask me every time, what do you look for the most in people? I don't look for the person who, you know, has the best smile or who looks the best or whatever it is. I'm looking for the underdog. I'm looking for the person who's dissatisfied with where they are. Yeah. And that's where I was when he took me in. And yeah, you're a broken underdog. Broke underdog, just one and one out of life, man. And yeah. I want to respect. Well, well, that's that's the most dangerous people in the world. And, you know, going back to your mentor, which is Patrick, he always talks about underdogs smash Goliaths. They can pivot faster. They can move quicker. They can do things that Goliaths can't do. And at the end of the day, underdogs are some of the most dangerous people in the world. And I want to say something. Every one of you guys watching this right now, um, before I move over to George, everybody has a decision to make. You had a decision to make to follow Patrick at 18. You had a decision to make to not become an engineer. And whenever you're playing basketball, you're not earning six figures playing basketball, you know, overseas, I'm guessing, okay? So it's cool, you're, bam, you're jamming, you're doing your deal. Great, but you're not and, free. You know, but, but at the end of the day, you know, being an engineer, that's a good guaranteed life. Now, I want to tell everybody right now, sales and leadership is what will make you rich. I can only just tell everybody this. If there was two great skills that I would tell you that don't, you know, require a degree, that you do need to find somebody that has been where you want to go, like you did with George, and grab a hold of him 
and then you know and then you're moving now where you want to be but you had to say no to a guaranteed salary life Comfort. which which people take with small dreams i'm not trying to offend anybody hey guys what's going on it's andy a lot of you leave comments tell me that you need help do me a favor i'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me shoot me a text message right now 918-210-0254 918-210-0254 i'll help you with whatever you need i got your back for life let's get back to the video okay but i want to tell you something you had a bigger dream, right? Or you wanted to dream bigger and then you chose the sales road. And I'm telling you, a lot of you right now, we're going to talk about an event you've got coming up in Vegas in January. You guys can go to this. There's a three day event that they're putting on. It's a PHP event. There's gonna be about 1500 people and they're going to be talking about sales and leadership for three days straight, primarily in the insurance space. So if somebody's watching this right now and you want to become a millionaire and I'm just making a point like you're like, dude, I want to. And you know, maybe you want to become an engineer or maybe you have a job right now and maybe you have a salary and you're capped or maybe you're in another sales position and you don't know what's available I think in this three days at this event you're putting on in Vegas which I'm gonna be there with you guys you guys are gonna be teaching how someone can get built get started plug in and if they wanted to make a decision like Elvis made and change your life forever right and join and join a community you guys have a great community right so George, tell us a little bit about your, tell us about your journey, right? So you started with Patrick at 18 years old. And if anybody don't know who Patrick David is, I know you do. Like, that'd be silly. Like, I'd <laughs> slap you if you didn't know. And you should look him up. But he started with them when he was 18, right? So, so, so talk to us a little about that. Like, tell us some stories maybe we don't know. Tell us what it was like, you know, and let, let's roll. Like, tell us who you are. You know, when growing up, man, we saw a lot of pain. My, my mom's uh, Puerto Rican, dad's Cuban, uh, came here. Uh, you know, immigrants coming to this country for the dream. We used to we used to say this all the time. America is not the land of all jobs; it's the land of all opportunities. Mm -hmm. And uh, so they had we had a swap meet business. I remember, man, like S Sundays, Saturdays, we'd be waking up at four in the morning, go sell purses and shoes at a swap meet. And we had a factory. My grandmother had a fourth grade education. She started making dresses. Ends up building a factory, twenty something employees, and we had we sold wedding dresses. And uh, my dad had a, a job in aerospace, and life was really good as a kid. And then all of a sudden, the, the factory got broken into, um, didn't, didn't understand the business, finance, insurance part of it. They lost everything. The swap meet, the company my dad worked at, uh, they left uh, California. So we go from you know, making all this income to, to making zero. When, when you look at families that have made money and they've never understood how to, how to invest it, how to save, how to grow it, how to keep it, uh, how to keep growing themselves, they don't have, you know, you're a mentor to, to millions of people. Um, that wasn't around back in the day. There wasn't a podcast like this or uh, YouTube or books that people, you know, and so they lost everything. And I saw that. And uh, I think out of pain, uh, you know, most success comes out of pain. Mm -hmm. And so I saw a lot of pain growing up and I just said, I don't want to live this way. So I uh, started going to school, uh, working at a restaurant. Uh, my neighbor one day took a 90 day vacation. When he came back, I said, where'd you go? He says, uh, on vacation. I said, what, what do you do for work? You know, our vacation was Magic Mountain, SeaWorld, a weekend. You know, and it was awesome, by the way. As yeah. a kid, it's, and, and you're grateful for anything. But yeah. um, but I just said, man, what do you do? And he, he sold real estate. And so I said, okay, I'm going to go sell real estate. Got a real estate license. And I remember walking into that office, and I'm trying to meet the main broker. The guy's making $3 million a year. Other guy's making a million. And they didn't, have, they didn't have the time of day. You know, it was like, yeah, hey, good to see you, kid. <laughs> you know? And I'm like, dude, you have no idea who I want to be, what I want to do. Um, and that's why you can't judge a, a, a book, you know, by its cover, obviously. But I, I was looking for a mentor. That's really, I, I don't need anybody to do the work for me. I want help. I want coaching. I want to learn every single day. Uh, but I was looking for a mentor, and there wasn't that availability to, men, to, to, to get mentored. So my buddy's like, come look at insurance. I'm like, dude, I, I don't have any interest to do insurance. It's like, it's not my personality. Yeah. I'm Cuban. I'm, I want to go open a restaurant in Miami and South Beach. Like, I want my lunch break to be on the ocean, come back, and salsa, you know, at night. Like, legit, that's my dream. So, Real. I'm like, I need, a, I need some money to go do that. And he's like, come do insurance. And I'm like, dude, I'm good. Eight times he invited me down, a guy named Eugene Park. And, uh, and I finally went that night, and the guy's giving the presentation. He doesn't catch my heart. I'm, I'm leaving, and I hear this guy yelling, like, full-blown, don't you want to be somebody? Like, full, I'm like, dude, is everything okay in that room? <laughs> like, ah. And I walk in, I'm like, can I listen? And, uh, and he was talking to the agents. He's got veins popping out of his head. He had just gotten out of the military, Bally's, Morgan Stanley. And, uh, and he tells his story about this golfer that goes to golf with the king of Saudi Arabia. And at the end, he says, hey, can I give you something? And he says, you, you've let me stay in your palace. I can't accept anything. 
And he says, uh, it's disrespectful my culture. Please let me give you something. He says, just send me a golf club. A month goes by, six months go by. Finally, he gets a deed in the mail to a golf club. He had thought that the king was going to ask him for a golf club, and he sent him the, the deed to a golf club. He says, that's the challenge with most of you guys. You're asking a king, right? You're asking God. You're asking life will give you what you want from it, and you ask it for something so small. Hmm. And I'm sitting in that room, man. That was the first time uh, I was ever inspired by another human being, you know, yeah. uh, that, that also was humble enough and in the season of his life. And I was talking to Danny earlier today, and he was talking about how you've been that for him. And I could see that with all these guys here on, on how you're that for these guys. And I was just looking for a guide, man. I was just looking for some direction. We'd go by these, you know, rich neighborhoods, and I just would, I would just ask myself, what does that person do? What do they do that I don't know, that I don't know how to do, right? So, yeah, the, the, the conference that we're doing it's it's designed it's it's designed for our guys to become the next version of themselves. So yep. the, the product we sell is insurance, but the business that we're in, just like you as people, and um, we just want to transform. You know, uh, there, there's an untapped spirit inside of somebody, and there's this great quote that says, "You know, man is lazy until something catches That's its heart." heart. Mm-hmm. And I think I think people are looking for uh, a family. That's what Facts. I felt coming around here. Yeah. You know, you talk about wife and kids, and the kids in the uh, upstairs at what you're building, and God and marriage and then business and and that, that's what we want to build man. We got a vision. Uh, we want to build a family. That's why our team name is unity um, I don't think there's anything stronger than family. You can't break it apart no matter what kind of crap you go through yep. We've been through crap, you know, yep. you don't get to where he's at in life and just built his mom and dad a 10-bedroom home Yeah, it's just you know, you don't you don't you don't you don't get there without going through some crap So um, but yeah, man, we're fired up. It's gonna be in uh, we're, we're grateful for you to come you know, my first I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I want to do what Patrick did. I want to yell at everybody, my, my get all excited. First, my, my first time like meeting you was at the vault recently, Yeah. you know, and, uh, and it was, it wasn't even, uh, in the event. It was afterwards, I think on after the CEO session and you're outside with these guys and you can tell when a person is just big, sh- you know, Hey, I, I don't have time for you. And you were there with the brand newest guy, super humble. And I'm like, man, what a unique combination. And these guys were like, dude, you got to talk to him. Come yeah. talk to him while you're there. Talk to him while you're there. <laughs> and then your involvement in the process too. Like when I called you and you sent, you talked to me to uh, refer me to Danny. But then you're on, you're sending me a video while you're, I think in Mexico. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, this guy, that's just not normal. You don't yeah. see that. I get sent to, you know, hey, talk to my booker. You know, so we're excited for you to come out and infuse your Fire spirit. Up. Yep. We need that next. Our 2024 is a big part of that, that awakening inside of people. So it's called the pledge, uh, bringing back God bringing back family, uh, bringing back values into America. You know, we could talk about anything in school, but we can't talk about God. Mm. It doesn't make sense. And you look at you look at kids today, they're not Crazy. getting better. The culture's not getting better. You, yep. can, you can be a good person without God, but I don't see that happening. You know, yep. so we want to bring that to yeah. business and just have a sick event, man, and yep. have you come. Well, you everybody's know? thirsty for leaders, man. Yep. Yep. You know, families are thirsty for leaders. Uh, businesses are thirsty for leaders. I mean, I'm, a, I'm thirsty for a leader, right? Like, we're always ready for someone to push us, right? And I think I like these events, what happens, and I'll just talk about, like, what Patrick did with you when you came in. You saw him in a room, you went in, and you left differently. Yeah. Yep. Dude, that was, like, you were alive for 18 years, and it took somebody talking for 30 minutes to literally somehow get through to you. I think everybody's looking for a level up, ready to go to war in 2024, and they want to just smash it, crush it, kill it. I mean, honestly, just a couple good years will change your life forever. People think that they need 10 good years, 20 good years. Dude, I see people right now, two or three good years, man, they pay their houses off, they pay their debt off, they pay everything off. And the cool thing about insurance, it just keeps paying if you do it right. Like, there's a lot of things where... You know, I don't think a lot of people understand recurring money with 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 sales, you know, because sales a lot of the times is a one time deal. Right. You sell, you get one time. You got to go back to the field again. Insurance has a lot of benefits. I don't think people understand insurance just like you did. You're like, hey, man, you know, I don't want to be a part of insurance. That's not what I want to do. And everybody out there wants to do something different. But what if there's something better? And by the way, at the end of the day, you know, this guy, he doesn't go to people's houses. He can make calls from anywhere in the world. Am I right? Yeah. Like, that's cool, dude. Like, you, you don't even have to go into the office if you want. You could call from the house. You literally could. Now, you want to go into the office because you want to be around your family, but you could call from home. Man, to me, that's freedom. I mean, that's super cool. And then the deal is you have no cap. You literally have no cap. And at the same time, notice I said sales and leadership will get you rich, which means you're leading him. He is selling, but he's also leading others. Am I right? Yep. Yeah, so you're a leader who sells. If you'll do these two things forever, and by the way, 
I think the goal is to find an industry in which you truly don't have to sell. If you go to, to buy jewelry, you got to sell the jewelry. You got to sell the price. You got to sell the different rocks. But insurance is something in the, that's like, dude, like in the last 30 seconds of somebody's life, if they're going to die, the only thing they're thinking about is their family being taken care of. I mean, like, let's just get down to the common sense of it, right? Like, it's actually disrespectful to not let somebody not get insurance. You know what I'm saying? You're actually doing your clients a disservice. If somebody requests information about insurance and you can't help them get a policy, like, you're doing them a disservice, right? Like, I mean, there's no sell even being done. Like, it's that simple. So, you know, if people had to write a check with their family safety is worth or make sure when they were gone they were taken care of, they couldn't write the check. But if they could, it'd have to be worth at least about this much. You know, so like insurance is something that everybody in the world, it's the easiest thing to sell. Everybody wants it. The most important thing people care about are their families. But I see what you're doing, and I love this. I was just telling them um, the other day, my team, that we're in the era of the worst leader in the history of time. And let me explain why, okay? We want people to work hard for us, but people won't work hard for us if they don't have a why, if they don't have a reason why they want to work hard. And everybody's why is that truly, if you bring home a check to your wife, she's going to say, oh, thanks, babe. And she's going to get excited or the family will get excited or we can pay some bills and you'll put it in the bank. As a man, I like seeing that. And then I'm like, okay, that was cool. Then it's done. And then I got to go back to work for 30 days. But if I change who I am and if I become a better man for my wife and my wife admires me and my children look up to me and I'm their hero. And when I go to work, I don't come home, you know, with sec with leftovers. Right. And I come home with special energy and I'm excited. And my wife, most importantly, it, man or woman sees me fulfilled. Right? Like, do when your wife sees you and you're not fulfilled, she's, she wants to slap the shit out of you. you. You left all day long. You're going to come home being an asshole. You know what I mean? Like, like you coming home fulfilled, you know, you know, showing that you love what you do, and then, you know, being good to the kids, being good to your wife, being present when you're there, like being present physically there. And that's really the big thing is that no one anymore is really where, where they are. They're, that's why they never get anywhere. And that's the reason why, like, you guys are building this conference, I think, where it's like, hey, like, we want to give you this opportunity, right, in which you can work and have unlimited earning potential. But also, us as good leaders, which I told you were in the era of the worst leader in the history of time, you guys want to be good leaders and say, we want you to go home and shut it off. Yep. And be good to your kids and be good to your wife and be present and build an empire there, too. I mean, how many, how many people go home at the end of the day and go, hey, babe, guess what? I'm so fired up. We're going to grow our marriage. Yeah. <laughs> they don't get it's that. Rare, man. They get, we're going to grow this business, or we're going to grow this, or, hey, babe, we're going to be better parents. No, people don't do that. And whenever you say, hey, you're going to go do that, and you're going to go home and be great to your family, and you're going to go home and be great to your kids, people are like, like people even watching this are like, this is stupid, like this is foreign. No, what's foreign is at the end of your life, you're going to die with regrets and literally you're going to say, I wish I would have. And you guys are smart enough now to learn that the secret to winning in life in any business is you have to have a great personal life. You have to know your why. You have to know what success means to you. And I think that this event is honestly about redefining success. Thanks. Right? Like, like literally, like everybody write down what's, what does success mean to you? And if success means to you making a lot of money, right? But it doesn't mean like being a great parent. And by the way, we say being a great parent. We say we're doing this for our kids. We're not doing it for our kids. A lot of us are doing this for our own ego and we're not doing it for our families. But once you take it personal, man, and I told you what I work for, when I go home, I want my wife to say, hey, I'm proud of you. You did a good job today. Dude, if she'll tell me that, I swear I will do anything. I will break any record. I will smash any industry. I will take over any, I will do anything. I am delusional when I get fed by her, okay? But, but we don't teach people to do that. And we don't take, teach people to take their families with, with them when they're building businesses. You know what I'm saying? And so if you look at any really successful person, I mean, who's happy? I'll say who's happy. Again, success is not just money, okay? Because I know a lot of people that have money who hate themselves. Yep. I know some people right now with a lot of money, and they are miserable POSs, okay? They hate themselves. Dude, listen, man, I'd rather be broke if that's what money does to you. But money is good. Money magnifies who you are. That's facts. Right? So, like, if you want a loving family, if you want a great life, if you want to, you know, raise your kids and be a strong dad and have them choose you as your hero, dude, money just makes you a better dad. And anyways, but a lot of people, I, I don't think, have the opportunity. So, like, during this event, you guys are actually going to talk about, like, how to get it if you got into the space. Yep. And by the way, like, it's very easy to get an insurance license. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Two, three days yeah. online, test online. Yeah, two, three days online. And literally in three days, you guys and, are going to... And low cost, too. It doesn't cost anything. 
That's right. And and you guys have how many offices around the country? Uh, as a company, we have 160. As an agency, we have 32. So you have 32 different offices around the country, right? Yeah. Um, by the way, just, and I want to keep talking, but if somebody wanted to reach out to you, right? They're like, I want to reach out to you. I want to reach out to Elvis. You know, like I'm interested. We're going to tell them how they can go get a ticket at the event. But how do they reach out to you? Like on Instagram or something or how? Yeah, Instagram would be my best platform. I am George Palayo. I am and then George is Jorge. So J-O-R-G-E P-E-L-A-Y-O. Okay, and we'll put that on the screen. Yeah, yeah and, and mine, is, Elvis? mine is Elvis, E-L-V-I-S-S -S underscore O. So Elvis Okafor, E-L-V-I. And the fastest way to find it is you see a Nigerian flag. Yep. Okay, good. Well, I, we'll put that up on the screen. They can go DM you guys on, on Instagram. Most now, definitely. Really quick. Hey, guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Um, when you, so, so when you started with Patrick, right? What, 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 what state were you in? Where, where'd you live? I was in California. Okay. And then you stayed in California with Patrick for how long? Pat had left uh, after we started PHP. He moved to Dallas, to Texas, okay. and then from there, now he's in Florida. Uh, I stayed in California until 2022, moved out to Austin to uh, just give, raise my son in a different place in yeah. Texas. And uh, 25, total of 25 guys moved with us. Uh -huh. uh, we had a couple places in the U.S. that we were looking at, and they're like, hey, we want to kind of go here together. So we had 25 people move. Um, that was in January. Our highest agent count in that office, we have a 25,000 square foot foot, uh, foot office in Austin, was 400 when Pat came out. So in 10 months, man, to go from 25 people in a new state to 400 people coming yeah. to trainings, um, God's blessed us in a big way. Dude, but we, I want to tell you what I think happened. Number one, God has blessed you in a big way. But I want to say something because anybody watching this right now, if you want something to change, you have to change. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Like sometimes you have to pack up and move across the United States to another place so that you can see nobody that you know and so that you can recreate yourself and create a new identity and become a different person. Am I right? Yeah. Like, dude, like when you went there, I mean, I don't think you could have grown that same thing in Cali. And I'm going to tell you why. Because your identity was, this is who I am. And when you went somewhere where no one knew who you were, and I think some people are in some industries right now and they're dead and they need to change. And dude, it's this simple. You need to make a move. You need to make a move. And what is that move? I would recommend it. I want to say this real quick. So, because this is important, because as you tell me that God's blessed you, you moved to, to Austin. And I totally know this. But when you went to Austin, I'll bet you became a new man. Sure, 100%. Nobody knew who you were. You could be whoever the hell you wanted. And you could change in whatever way you wanted. And all your old bad habits and all the old streets you used to see and all the old people that told you you weren't going to make it and all those things, they were all gone. And you were in a place where nobody knew you so you could be whoever the hell you wanted to be, right? Yeah. That's, that's so, so I wanted to say this. If anybody wants to change at the M, at the M in Vegas, January 22nd to the 25th, the pledge event, if they want to buy a ticket, right? T tickets are like 325 bucks, right? Correct. Yep. Okay, like, which is stupid. Okay, when I, I told him, I was like, dude, this is stupid. But I understand. <laughs> These are for your people, okay? And you're also going to invite some other people who want to who want to learn insurance opportunities and also the stuff you'll be teaching they could take to any industry, right? right. But for a $325 ticket to go learn what you've learned the last 17 years and built this empire and obviously learn about the opportunity with you, um, how can they buy a ticket to go to Vegas with us? You go to pledge2024.com. Uh, uh, and buy a ticket there. You can also DM, DM us, send us a message. We'll, okay. uh, we'll I'll, I'll reach out to you. One of my guys will reach out to you. Cool. So I'll put the, I'll put, I'll put y'all's Instagram on there. They can DM you. You'll send them a link or you go to the, it goes pledge 2024. Cool. Pledge2024.com. Pledge2024.com. You guys make sure I'll be there, but you guys make sure in Vegas, man, it's a three day deal for 325 bucks. Dude. I don't even understand, but, but I know this, you love your people so much that you want to just basically put it on as for as free as possible. And I love it. All right. So God has blessed you. You went to Austin, but some people out there right now, they don't need to make a decision to join you guys. They need to make a decision to go learn some more information and maybe the freaking giant shift, a giant change in their life. Like literally dude, like maybe this is it, man. That's what it was for. That's what it was for me. It was my first conference, July of 2005. I had never been to a business event or conference. I have no idea what I'm doing, you know. And I show up there, and somebody gives a message. And you said it, you know, 18 years, and you meet Pat, he gives a message. 
uh, changes your life. Somebody gave a message at that event. It was a former guy from the Marine Corps. He mm-hmm. talked about winning, saving, you know, saving America, but how he hadn't saved his family. <laughs> and uh, and that, that touched me because I thought about my mom and my family. And, you know, everybody needs, every family has a hero that changes that family's legacy. Uh, legacy. That's so. it. You, you just got to decide, are you going to be the one? Yeah, like, are you going to be the one? Is it going to be your brother? Is it going to be your cousin? Is it going to be your nephew? Or hell, will nobody raise their hand? And it just totally skips your family. You know, uh, Tim Grover always says, does winning recognize you, right? And like the stuff that you did, I love it. You said, hey, you know, I needed a mentor, but I didn't need somebody to do the work for me. Like, dude, if you're willing to do the work and you're a hard worker, like all you got to do is just show up. I'd recommend every single one of you showing up to this event. Hell, I'll, I'll pay their money. I don't even, 300 bucks, dude, to change somebody's life? That's stupid, dude. If they don't do it, I mean, I'll literally go through this camera and I'll choke someone out. Okay? Like, like I couldn't believe it. I'm like, it's got to be like 3,500 bucks at least. One of our guys thought you were going to ask him to take his shirt off, so he, he shaved his chest hair last night. So we're, we're not going to say his name. We're good. Well, we may, Man, we may know, do that yeah, after anyways. that. Um, well, well, but here, here's what I'll tell you, though. Um, one of the things that I, I, I think that um, – that you guys are about and which I love and I, I see the love in you guys' eyes, right? You know, you, a, a killer isn't somebody yelling at the camera, okay? A killer is somebody who's winning in all areas of life and they're getting it all. And I know a lot of people that sacrifice a lot of stuff and we all had to sacrifice a lot of stuff too to realize that, dude, who taught us to sacrifice all this? You need to sacrifice to win. You need to be disciplined to win. You need to be held accountable to win. But you, you don't need to sacrifice your family. You don't need to quit. You know, you, you can be close to God. You can look in the mirror and like who you are. You can be, you know, a, a stud in your family. Dude, you can get it all and make a lot of money. And the craziest thing is the more you're getting it all, the better that you actually do. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? True. Because, um, you know, resentment, right? Like, I'm just going to give you an example. A long time ago, see, I changed because I learned. You touch the stove, you know it's hot. Resentment, I used to work from 7 in the morning until 11 at night. And uh, one day my wife said she's learned to live without me, right? And, you know, it's the truth. Listen, you have to, you have to hear that. It's the most hurtful thing I ever heard in my life. But I realized that success to me was making money because I was raised poor. So I thought because my wife had a big house, she had a car, her purse was full of money, she's happy. When really she's like, I didn't marry you. I could have made all that money on my own. She, my wife's an independent savage. She, she would have been successful without me. She don't need me. Okay, she would have made it without me. I'm 100% sure. She's like, dude, I married you because I thought we were going to get a great man all the time. And she goes, and what's crazy is I hear you motivating people all day long. I hear you firing people up all day long. She's like, I wish I could get some of that. That's why I married you, because I thought I was going to get some of that. And I was like, damn, man. I'm like, dude. And you take it as, as negative in the beginning. But really, sh- she was telling me the truth. And the truth is dark. And only the people that will tell you the truth are the people that love you. Because nice. the people that don't love you won't tell you the truth. And that's the reason why there's so many leaders that are telling their people, you better hit your quota. You better hit your numbers. You better hit your numbers. Dude, if they just called the meeting and said, hey, bring your wife up here to work. Let's talk to her. Let's talk to the kids. Let me see what we're working for. Does your wife know your earning potential? Does she know that you know you guys have this ability to earn whatever or get whatever? Does she know that what I want from you? Does she know who you're spending your time with? You know, because once that gets out in the open, which is kind of what this event is about, you know, it's like, damn, dude, like life shifts. You're like, whoa, like, wait a minute. Okay, now I got purpose and purpose and, and fulfillment yep. are the two things Feels in the business. Yeah. So you moved to Austin. You said, God blessed you guys. Um, what's going on? You know, and that what you just said right now, you met you met Keshi and Bree. They're mm-hmm. in Georgia. They work with Okafor. And uh, I think that that's why for them, me knowing them as friends and obviously Elvis mentoring them and they're freaking leaders in their own right. That's that's the part on a husband and a wife, you know, a couple growing together um, and finding an environment where you know that that person is going to be around other men, other people that love God that are going to, you know, you're, you're, each person is going to be better because of who they're around. Um, but our business transforms people's lives. You met Bruno Castillo today. Um, I've seen him go from, you know, being a personal trainer, athlete, college competitive guy to – you know, professional CEO today, and that's that's what our that's what the conference is about. It's yep. about developing uh, those guys, bringing out their best, and letting them see who they could be, and then them going out there and building a ton of leaders. But you know, moving to Austin for me, th- this is a, a big part. I think um, when you make a commitment to people, twenty five people move their families across the country. Yeah, and it's it, it's yeah, it's on yeah. me to like make sure that their dreams come true. Yep. That's how I put it. It's you know, I, it's not them, it's me. I think that's. Being around Pat, that's what we've been taught. When something goes wrong, it's your fault because then mm-hmm. you can also Ownership. fix it. Yep. You know? 
Um, but that's that was the transformation to more pressure. And then, you know, I've been in the business now 18 years, and uh, you get to a season of your life and you say, is this just who I am? You know, is this really the best version of me, or yeah. is it was it just about, piss you off. yeah, yeah? Was it just about the money? Now you have the house, the cars, this, but you're not you're not at the next level. You're, you're not fulfilled. fulfilled. Yeah. Um, and so, I think that's what uh, that realization of is this the best version of who I'm ever going to be? You know, I, 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 we want to go build what you've built here. You know, that that's this this was a dream walking through the place, seeing what you built, seeing the guys, seeing the camaraderie of the family. You know, it, I, I, just like when you said earlier, you said, you know, I left that meeting with Andy Stoff. Oh yeah, that's that's how I'm leaving the meeting today. So that's my boy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I like that, dude. You said something. You said uh, proximity. You said, you know, you said a lot of people, um, they just don't have the right environment to plug it's, into, it's, right? It's everything. Yeah. So, like, even if you're a winner, somebody's watching this right now, and they're like, you know, like, I can understand everything you're saying. I like that. But you're not getting the results. Part of the reasons why you might not be growing and, or, or developing as fast as you should is because if you're around the wrong people, and even when going to work, right? Like, if you're, you're there, so you're the sum of five people you hang out with the most. So if you go to an environment and you work around people that aren't fire breathing dragons, excited, wanting you to self develop every day, positively peer pressuring you to become a better version of yourself, maxing out your potential, it ain't gonna happen. Because it doesn't people don't accidentally grow. Like everything that this growth is in your company is all intentional. Yeah. It's like you guys pressure each other all day to be great. It's it's a full pressure ground. That's like yeah. the crazy part. Like yeah. it's two four seven there. If you come to a Tuesday meeting or a Saturday meeting, it's it's energy from nine a.m. in the morning till nighttime. You know, it's like it's two four seven. And I tell people, you know, pressure pressure definitely builds diamonds. Mm -hmm. You know, nobody is 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 built under you know being soft. Mm -hmm. And and when you look at some of the guys, you realize they've grown because the right people are around them. I believe nice. the right people help you condense time frames. That's it. When you're around the right people, man, what, what it could take a person 10 years to do, and that's the power of proximity, because you get to learn from their mistakes. Like, he taught me a bunch of the stuff that he didn't do his first decade in business. So you didn't and, have to mess And the up. statement was, hey, whatever I didn't do, I'm trying to teach you how to do it within your first year. That's amazing. So for me, that was powerful. Man, somebody's willing not to just tell me the fluff, but tell me, like, the real deal. Tell me not to make the certain mistakes and be, be direct as possible with mm -hmm. me. Like, don't, don't give me the sugar-coated version. Don't give me the soft version. Don't give me the, you know, the sweet version. And I think that's the part America is struggling with today is a lot of people are taking the soft approach. Yeah. You know, and soft, you know, time is built soft men. That's just mm -hmm. the reality. And I think uh, 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 real men are created when real pressure is put on them. And he's been able to do that with a bunch of the guys. You've seen the guys come into the industry. I made $80,000 last month. This month we're going to make anywhere between $100,000. I never made that before as an engineer. But I saw somebody who had done it and said, hey, it is possible. If and and it continues system, to go it faster. Happen. You know, it's like 18 years to five years to now Somebody's a guy can do it, do it in two years. years. Like, you know what I'm saying? Keshi, Keshi here that George was talking about in Georgia, uh, uh, his second year in the business has crossed over a quarter million dollars in income. Yeah. He's, uh, he's on track to making a half a million dollars. That doesn't happen if the leadership in the system isn't getting better every single year. So that's just power and proximity. You stay around the right people, you condense time frame. You stay around the wrong people, you prolong your success story. Yeah, and, and by the way, opportunities to join the right people just seem that they don't exist very much anymore. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I think like anybody watching this right now, you, uh, again, I said, you know, Patrick bet David, right? For a guy that could spend that much time with him and understanding his core values, his beliefs, his work ethic, um, doing what's right, doing what's wrong, watching him make decisions, leading as many people as you lead, and then obviously like you coming up, building your legacy now, right? Yeah. Anybody right now, anybody, all they got to do is join. And they can join from anywhere in the country, right? Yep, it doesn't right. matter. You're, you're licensed in 49 states. Correct. So I think there's two things, and I, I want to kind of, you know, bring this out there, and then we'll talk for a couple more minutes. But I think if you're if you're still watching this at this point, number one, you're the true one percenter. Okay, that's it. I'll tell you, because a lot of people start watching stuff. But number two, if you've been looking for an opportunity, is everybody that sells with you, are they full-time? No. Okay, okay. I, 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 I would ask. 95% start part-time. Okay, that's what I wanted to ask. If somebody, um, let's just say hypothetically, was like, dude, you know what? I, I wish I knew a little mo a bit more about this. Like, okay, I'm interested. I get it. Okay, we're creating millionaires. Everybody in the world needs insurance. The insurance industry has made more millionaires than any other industry in the entire world. It's never going away. It's recession proof. <laughs> there's, yeah. there, I mean, there's a, there's, it, it's never going out of stock. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, it's just, it's never ending, right? And, and people are buying it more than ever. 
So the idea of it is, it's just like, is there a great culture in which you can self-develop and grow this new level of you in, number one, which means it's clearly anybody that's around you guys is getting coaching all the time how to be a better person, right? And then number two, even in the earning potential, if they came to this event, they could learn everything you guys do. They can learn everything that goes on. They can learn everything and, and, make sh- and see if this is right for them. And, and then if it was, they don't even have to commit full time. They could literally sell part time, start making some money and make sure that this is something that they're going to be successful with, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. Correct. You know, Pat, Pat said something when, at the first meeting, says $500 changes the car you drive, $1,000 changes your zip code. There are so many people that an extra thousand bucks puts them in a better school district, puts them in a happier environment, puts them in a safer home, puts mm-hmm. them, you know what I mean? So yeah, everybody, but we don't want people to go full time until they really know what they're doing. They're making money. They have savings. Mm-hmm. They've replaced their income. Yeah. Do you guys hear that? I mean, that's just, I man, that's just amazing. And then the cool thing is, is that, you know, like not only just like taking your word, but I know what the PHP stands for. Yeah. Like I know the, I know the values and principles. Yeah, I know the values. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, they're, they're just, they're engraved in you. You know what I'm saying? They're like seared on you. Like a, like a, like a, like a, you cattle prong, you know, something like, like the Elliott core values. If you see a lot of my guys around our company, they have lines tattooed on their arms, yep. right? And it's because they believe the standard, you know what I mean? So they're like, dude, I'm all in. I'm here till I die. And they didn't ever know that this life existed. People talk about like, got to be around great people, you know, get an opportunity to make good money, you know, change your life. Most places though, when you get there, it, that's not the case. Somebody sold you, you got in. And um, it's just cool. You know, I didn't know this existed. I mean, and I'm going to say, like, number one, I didn't know you were with Patrick that long. And that's crazy. I mean, I knew you were with him for a long time. But with him since the beginning, to me, that's amazing. I got a guy who's been with me since day one. And the sh- he's seen is crazy. <laughs> you know, he's helped us paint, build, do this, that. I mean, all the stuff. I mean, we carried 19, you know, 100 jobs. You know, we did it all. I mean, there was days we didn't think we were going to make it, days we made it. You know, so being there that long, you know, like the adversity that you've seen is cool. So the fact that people can come in now and get up to speed really quick is super cool. You know what I mean? And um, and so are you married? You got kids? No, not yet. Not okay. yet. Not yet. But it's it's going to be in the works. You know, it's it's going to be in the works, man. <laughs> Definitely. I'm, I'm a kid lover. So you're so 28? Obviously. Yes. Yeah, that's good, man. Well, no, it's good to take care of yourself first, I think. And, and, and I want to say something. I, I don't think a lot of people understand um, insurance. I think a lot of people don't understand it. Can, can you tell us a couple products like that are in insurance? I mean, so people can actually understand. Is that like like term? Is it whole? Like, like can you tell us? Um, yeah, obviously, you know, there's like the, daily, what you're normally. Yeah, so about. obviously the, there's the term insurance, the ROPs, which are also terms. Uh, there's different types of permanent insurances that obviously people can be able to leverage money from, you know, mm-hmm. accumulate money inside of it tax free. And I think a lot of people don't know this, but even index annuities mm-hmm. uh, are, are inside of an insurance, you know, products. And an you insurance. teach all this? We teach all of them. We okay. teach we teach anything that has to do with you, you know, protecting your legacy, you know, passing down generational wealth to your family. That's amazing. Or, or yeah, yeah, yeah. You said so, protecting or growing your money. Is that right? Yeah. You know, when when I came to a meeting, they they talked about this insurance product with savings. I'm 19, so I started saving some money in it. When I was 29, uh, a friend of mine says, "Hey, there's this apartment to buy," and so I called the insurance company. They sent me a check out of my savings. I buy this apartment, fix it, flip it, rent it, sell it, and uh, put the money back into my savings. I didn't know when I was 19 when, you know, there's a concept that that was really going to help me start building wealth for my family. And that we bought our dream home in Austin, you know, down payment, helping from an insurance policy, uh, buying cars instead of paying, you know, the interest rates today are super high. So mm-hmm. instead of paying for, you know, a car, eight, nine percent, six percent, 10 percent. Hey, we pull out that money and make that payment to, towards my policy and uh, the arbitrage there on being able to pull out a loan tax free, still have your money earning interest. It's got to be the. It's got to be funded the right way. It's got to be the right. Got to be done the right person, way for you sure. Know what I mean, so. The but there's so many things and, that and, you guys and help. I, and I with. think I think even the concepts of even living benefits. You know, like my uncle got the same year I got into the industry. My uncle gets diagnosed with cancer because most people, you know, the average person thinks of insurance and the first thing they think about is death. Yeah. And you know, my uncle gets diagnosed with cancer, and somebody did the proper education on him nine years prior to that. And you know, we saw uncle pull over forty thousand into a policy while he's going through chemo. Um, he's able to pull out over a million dollars for himself while he's going through cancer, you know, to be able to help him with medical bills and different stuff. These are things that happen in America today, especially yeah. with the foods we feed the kids with, the things they put, the chemicals they put in the foods today. Like, 
more people today it's getting cancer than ever before. Yeah. And, you know, them being able to have that peace of mind, hey, for financial bur if a financial burden happens, I don't have to go into debt or anything. Mm -hmm. I can leverage that same policy for myself while I'm alive to take care of my medical stuff, to take care of my, I think it's just Yeah, it protects your credit and everything because and, and, there's a good chance you're gonna beat it, which correct. means you're gonna live afterwards. Correct, and my uncle beat cancer yeah. for three years. Yeah. You know, unfortunately he passed away 2021 because say if you beat cancer one time, if it comes back and knows how to attack you. So, you know, he beat it once, but that was time he was able to spend with his family, pay mm -hmm. off their home, different things for themselves. So I think the concept about the insurance game is about teaching it and educating it versus just trying to make the just the next sale. Yeah. The education is really the powerful piece to it. Yeah, and you guys teach all that, right? Yeah. Yeah, I love it, man. Well, guys, well, one of the most important thing is, is that, you know, usually you can tell, I always tell people the eyes are the window to the soul, right? And you guys, you're killers, but you guys have like these loving eyes, you know what I mean? So I would call you guys like the velvet, the velvet hammer. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Hammer. Yeah, they're like hammers, but it's like velvet. velvet you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like a hammer, but it's got a little piece of velvet. Yep, over, uh -huh. right? You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't really even know you're getting hit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like some people are like, hey! You know what I mean? It's like they're like the hammer. You know what I'm saying? But you guys are like the velvet hammers. You know what I'm saying? Um, which is cool. But, uh, but I, I love what you said about Pat when he said he was screaming and that changed your life. And I think to end this, if anybody at all um, is looking for a paradigm shift, in their life okay um this could be the epiphany bridge all right so like what takes you from where you're at now um to where you want to go everybody has an aha moment uh you're in california and you go oh man like if i really want to change then i need to put more pressure on me so you say okay we're going to move to austin when you took 25 people with you you grew up again about 15 times real fast that was the best thing that you ever did some of you right now mediocrity is crawling all over everybody okay it is. And it's just, it's disgusting. We hate it. Um, a lot of us, we just sweep it under the rug. We don't want to talk about it. Right. Because, you know, like who wants to say that, you know, I'm being average. Right. But a lot of people are being average right now. This is an opportunity to crush average in your life. And the cool thing is no one has to make any decision except come be with us in January, January 22nd to January 25th yep. at the M, at the M Resort. in Vegas, uh, at the M Resort in Vegas. And all you have to do right now is go to pledge2024.com, P-L-E-D-G-E, -E, right? 2024.com. Correct. Buy a $325 ticket and test us for three days. Dude, listen, the greatest investment you'll ever make is in yourself. ROI on, on real estate, 7%. ROI on yourself is 1,000%. These guys are going to teach you how they're building millionaires, okay? And it's facts, okay? It's not, and they're not there to sell you anything. And after three days, you can learn leadership, you can learn sales, you can learn how to build an empire. And literally, you can even decide at the end, you go home and take it back to your business. Or you may say, how can I be a part of this? Whatever it is, it's the best 325 bucks you'll ever spend in your life. There'll be 1,500 people, and then it's gonna be sold out. So anybody watching this right now, make sure you go to the pledge, uh, pledge, not the, but go to pledge2024.com, get your ticket. I'm going to bring the heat when I'm there. Let's go. I know, we're, uh, we're ready for you, Yeah, man. I know. Dude, you guys are crazy. Yeah. So, like, I'm super excited, <laughs> man. And that day we're going to get crazy, right? <laughs> but uh, but I hope this, you know, has taught you guys a lot that, look, man, um, anybody can have it, okay? Everybody's qualified. And at the end of the day, if you want to be around great people, be around a good life, if you're looking for, you know, he already knows when he does have his family and his kids, it's he already knows he's man, raising the them around the right people. That's cool. And, and maybe you need a big change in your life. And by the way, don't be afraid because I, I think that when we say sales and leadership, a lot of people say, well, I don't want to be salesy. Dude, you don't have to sell anything, okay? These guys just help people all day long. That's all they do is help people. And, and you're actually not helping somebody. You're doing someone a disservice if you know about insurance and you don't make sure that somebody you love doesn't, doesn't have it. Am I right? Correct. Yeah. Okay. And nobody really understands that until you know somebody who's died who didn't have insurance. Yep. You know what I'm saying? When, when a dad who's paying 80% of the bills dies and the mom doesn't have insurance to cover the kids, either a new man has to move into that home or they're selling everything they have and they're going to stay at mom's house. I mean, it sucks. You know what I mean? And death is an uncontrollable, right? So like, I know that what you guys do is really good. And that's why this event is so important. And even if somebody didn't ever join the team, it'd be a great thing to go and become educated and learn about it. And all the skills that you guys will teach, it'll be life changing. Yeah, yep. and, I, and I'll tell people, if they come to the event, I've made this guarantee to people. Pat made it to me. 
if the event doesn't, if you come, it doesn't change your life. It's not beneficial. We'll refund you the ticket. 100%. We, don't, we don't need the money. Well, that's, yeah. In the first hour, you're going to get your money. I mean, that's physically impossible. When you speak, they're going to get their dude, money. Dude, when I speak, <laughs> when I speak, they're going to owe me a million. Because, yep. dude, I'm telling you, I'm tearing the walls down. Yeah, I okay, know. I'm going to have flamethrowers. And I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're just going to go psycho. But Total Recreation 2024, if you want a badass year, you want the best year of your life, look, dude, how is that going to happen? Well, what you have now is because of what you know, the information you have now, and who you are. So if you want total recreation, take 325 bucks. Go to right now, pledge.com. Buy your ticket. We will see you in Vegas for three days. We will level up and crush it, and we're positive that 2024 will be the greatest year of your life. Yep. That's it. Right, I'm man. Appreciate you, you, brother. Thank you. I'm man. Thank you. See you guys soon. Yep. Hey guys, I just want to tell you the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are, set your notifications, and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.